Either way, a very successful season and comeback for Zach Collins. I mean, just oh. absolutely remarkable. Those blocks the other night were uh, fantastic. Really got the crowd and Pop mentioned the free game. So we've got our five man. The improvement that he has made, no question, has just been uh, absolutely amazing. Inside and Edward. And that means they'd have to win two games to get into the number eight position as Malachi Branham knocks down the jumper. Ball movement, player movement, not just standing around. Spurs with three assists already, and fifth of the league in assists that fair his Edwards to the deep three. He got that little runner to fall over Anthony Edwards last time down the floor. This time, uh, he's going against, I think that was Jaden McDaniel that he gets the shot over. So, not a bad start for Malachi. Brings it up, off to KBD. And he says, wait a minute, I saw what happened last possession. Right. And Julian is red hot from the outside. Champagne. That's right. But smart decision on the drive, just knowing where the shot blockers. Nice. Oh, oh Mamu. Uh, Gobert dropped something. Dropped his shorts there. Towns, double team come. Oh. Gobert, ooh, fouled and an and one. Hey, that, that dude, he, on the defensive end, I mean, he's a, a killer. Yep. He smothers and covers. I call him every time he knows. He's the like, wrangler. Had a great reputation. Congratulations there. Yep. Wesley. Buzzer beater! When Carl Anthony Towns is at the five position, he's not going to defend that basket and be that last line of defense right. like Gobert. But he can do that. Yes. <laughs> a lot of big shots, a lot of big plays. Let's to switch this. Carlo trying to slow down Towns. Pulls his way inside and scores. Goes out 11 seconds for the shot clock turned off to work. With. The Dome game was a really beautiful way to share the relationship that we've had with our fans for so many years. We provide almost a coach on and off the floor. What an example he presents. From a mentor program, from a mentorship pro, uh, opportunity. I think what's been lost a little bit is the Victory Capital Performance yeah, Center. About to say. And that the team's going to be in a new practice facility. Got right in this rhythm. <laughs> uh -huh. Hey, R.C., I just want to know if our buddy who's watching right now, Mr. Duval, gave you a discount on that practice. <laughs> but I'm not sure anybody recognized how quickly he would pick up his offensive production and become such a dynamic offensive player with, with multiple skills. Is that Sean Elliott that <laughs> acting like he likes a three-pointer? Right. <laughs> I must be on the wrong broadcast. Are, are you Only good ones, R.C. <laughs> oh, Mamu going in the mid-range with the banker. We'll, we'll start our workshops early in May, and it's a very structured time for a bunch of these young guys. to. Champagne drills another three. Minnesota's turned up the heat a little bit here. Taking advantage of a turnover, too. And once again, another bucket of the Spurs. Uh, Anthony Edwards putting on a show. And 73 points with 2.26 to go in the half. Mamu answers with a triple though. There's no reason for him to hesitate on the perimeter when he's got that sweet stroke. Gobert with the dunk to make it 75-64. You're not allowed to get guys on the court as much because you have the sports scientists saying we need to rest guys. Uh, and, you know, there aren't the two- and three-hour practices that we had on days in between games. Jones hits one of two. Three seconds to go. Conley fires. Anderson wide open. Uh, uh, somebody was just talking about that. I don't know who it was. Yes. Guy's giving it up to each other for better looks. Yeah, he made the right play. Jones still got work to do on his shooting, but he's made 43 threes this year compared to just 20 a year ago. For the game about how it was important his team start off well, and he means the second half as well. Sometimes they do be a little lax as that stat we're showing you has happened. Coming next year along with a high traffic and who knows what happens with this team. There's thought they had another steal, but taken back by Minnesota, and Conley hits a three at her. He certainly was there to make an effect. And that's the one thing Minnesota ha has at its disposal 
in those situations when Gobert is guarding a center that's driving. So he's back. Champagne blocked by Gobert and taken away by Rudy. And when you talk about a kid like Dominique Barlow, I was on the initial advisory board for overtime elite. Inbound coming. Not to Champagne. And he is fouled. It's an and one for Julian Champagne. Where, you know, they can get hot. And, and you guys talked about the Bill showing, you know, where are they going to finish? Are they going to finish ninth? Obviously, they can move all the way up to six. I don't believe they'll get there. Edwards hit that last one. Edwards now with 26. Wow, another. They just can't miss from downtown right now. Suffered a knee injury, had a guy fall on his leg. Oh, strained his MCL, right? That's what, that was the injury. And he was out for about two months. And, and, and Avery, tell us what happened after that game. Uh, probably about three weeks later, I got cut. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't appreciate didn't the guy. I didn't appreciate my 16 uh, assists. Oh, yeah, because you wanted to play defense. That's why. Yeah, right. <laughs> Come to San Antonio, you need a job, and we need a backup point guard. <laughs> that was a great phone call. I would yes. imagine. Trey Jones hits the bucket here. Two minutes to go here in the third quarter. See if the Spurs can get Minnesota to cool off. Anderson. Better not just give it to him because Kyle Anderson this year. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> <laughs> You're about to guarantee the loss. Every <laughs> once in a while, somebody <laughs> sneaks up, though. Says thank you for the payday. And the dub. McDaniel knocks down another three and then a whistle. <laughs> <laughs> we got kicked off the court half the time. It might be the women's volleyball team coming after. And the coach is like, you guys got to get off the court. I got practice. Wow. Goodness. McDaniel. I mean, and as a result, 19 of 30 for the day. Just an astounding shooting performance. Mm. Play 24 yeah. minutes, he has 18 points. Yeah, he needs some reps. So around that seven minute mark here. Branham with the dunk and Malachi, one of six in double figures. Got 19 from Champagne and 10 from Wesley. Mm. Here comes Jaden McDaniels. Kicks it out. Prince, never shy, knocks down another triple. But you still got Coach Pop standing up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. still into it, evaluating, coaching. Yep. 13 out of their last 15 threes. Amazing. Jank to Jones. Trey. Trey Jones. Triple double. He's got 16. Points for the 19 now with nine rebounds and 10 assists. <laughs> and 11 of 25 from three. Just no answer defensively. And again, one bounces right back to Kyle Anderson. And another three from Mike Conley. <laughs> Mike Conley is making it look so easy. 10 rebounds, 11 assists, and 21 points for Trey Jones. Remember, he had the triple double at Sacramento. Carl Anthony Towns, still six and a half to go in this one, and Towns not done. Wesley, and Goldman picks his pocket, and the finish. Gets it right back and approach the five minute mark here at the Moody Center. Prince kicks it out, and Alexander Walker came in shooting 37% from three. And I ran into it 100 miles an hour, and I was, uh, Dennis office the next day comes off tonight. I'll tell you one guy who can so missing. I'll tell you after this dunk. This his old ball club drains another three. And Gorgie, two of five from deep. Well, I beg your pardon. It's his first three today. Well, that'll do it here as uh, Minnesota just an offensive. Performance of the age today, 151 to 131, team best. Yes,